Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number 45. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, click on my college website link, and then download this workbook, YouTubers Love Excel 41 to 48. Hey, trick number 45, someone wanted to ask, how do I sum if or use some sort of method to add only the months? Well, there's many ways to do this, and in past uh, videos, we looked at how to add a column and use the month function. But if you can't do that, here's a way to do it. Here's a way to sum and look through a bunch of dates that are actually day dates, not months, and sum by just the month. I have added data validation here. I have the first day of each month. Now let's click here and we're going to use the sum product. Sum product. Oops, squirrely all over the place. Equals sum product some product. And we uh, need some arrays to multiply. Now, we could use a, uh, an array formula when we're multiplying arrays, but the sum product will allow us to do it without multiplying arrays. I'm going to take uh, add a parentheses. And instead of just highlighting this and have this range equal this, we're going to use the text function. Because we, with the text function, can convert a date to just a month and a year as text, and then compare it to this, converted to text just as month and year. So let's try it. Equals text, open parentheses, and we're going to highlight this whole range. Click on the top one, Control Shift Down Arrow. I'm going to hit F4 just to jump back up there, even though we don't need to lock it. And then the way the text function works, and we've looked at this in lots of other videos, it takes whatever the cell range is as the first argument. And the second argument, you have to know custom number formatting. Uh, and you can always go to the Format Cells Number tab and look under Custom to see whatever format you have. But the custom number format for month and year would be, actually, we're just going to do month like this. That's it. It says format this just as the month. Now, the only reason why we can use just an M here instead of like MY or MMYY, which the only reason we can just use an M is because all this data set only has the year 2009. If you had multiple years, then you'd have to go like this. All right, so that'll fix the range right there, close parentheses. But that needs to be equal to, for our condition, equals to. We can't just click here. We have to use a text function here, to T-E-X-T, open parentheses. This is the value, comma, quote, M, quote, close parentheses. So, and then close parentheses. That green and that green right there is going to deliver a range of trues and falses. Now watch this. Here's a trick. If you highlight just that range and hit the F9 key, you can see that it actually will evaluate to this huge bunch of trues and falses. So only where it's true when we multiply it by the next range will that value be added. I'm going to control Z. Notice that's a cool trick. In the middle of a formula, you can F9 to evaluate and see what it's actually going to do in the formula, and then control Z back. Now, what do we have to do here? We're going to multiply times this right here. Click in the top cell, control shift down arrow. I'm going to hit F4 just to jump the, the screen back up, even though I don't need it. And close parentheses, Control, Enter. And there it is. That's a quick, cool way to sum by month. Let's click right here and change the month. Change the month. Let's say uh, January. January, so 28,438. Now, this formula right here and this little trick is kind of excessive because there's a faster way. However, sometimes you really do need a formula in a single cell to do it, and so that would do it. Let's go over here. The best way, as always, is to do a, a pivot table. If I squeeze the screen down here, I did a little pivot table there based on a much faster way, and there's other uh, videos that I've shot that'll show you how to do that. But for a formula, real cool way when you cannot have a month column here. There it is. That's a cool formula to solve that problem. All right, we'll see you next YouTuber trick.